Twitch stream. I mean, that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind a little flicker, to be perfectly honest. All right. Only because it seems to have been doing it a lot less than it was. That's true. Earlier. Okay. Okay. Could have been just right when you st started streaming to YouTube. That's probably what yeah. The flicker was that for. might have been it too. All right, guys. High CPU usage detected. That's all right. There's nothing to be done about that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Awesome Hardware. This is the live show that Kyle and I do uh, usually every Tuesday evening at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. We're streaming a little bit early today uh, because we're not where we usually are. We're actually in England. Just It just... feels like we're streaming really late. Yeah, it feels like it's super late, but we're actually early. It's 2 a.m. Um, over here. Yeah, it's about Almost. It's 1, 1.43, I believe. And um, we have been here for since earlier today. And we can't exactly tell you guys why we're here yet, but uh, maybe there will be some more content later in the week that shares that information with you. Yep. Hopefully that's how it goes. I'm vlogging. Also, we're using a kind of hacked together rig, um, including uh, we're streaming from laptops that we don't usually stream to, and things might not work 100% of the time, but we will do our best to keep them working. So if there are any uh, stream hangs or anything like that. Glitching, we'll frame rate dropped. Uh, that, yeah, that's going to happen. Okay. That's totally going to happen. Okay. Frame rates are going to be all over the place. Frame rates probably like super <laughs> sketchy. Look at that! Look at that glorious frame Audio rate. Sync. Why are they complaining so much more this time? I don't know. Like it's, we just. Oh, it's because you're on my YouTube now, right? It's all the people on my YouTube who weren't complaining it's before. Oh, it's Twitch. Yeah. Twitch, why are you re-complaining? <laughs> We've already established all of these things. Uh, or is it just dropped frames? I mean, that could be it too. Uh, honestly, the main thing is that uh, I need a new laptop. Apparently, if I'm going to be streaming from the road. That or I needed to set up like a two a two laptop configuration with more capture cards, right? Which could also work. Wow, it's or, even super laggy on XSplit. Yeah, well, that's how I really know when it's laggy is yep. when XSplit is laggy. But I don't I don't think there's anything to be done about that. Yeah. Um, Sorry guys. Sorry or we can guys. just stop streaming to, to YouTube. That's another. Are option. you streaming at 720 on YouTube? See. I thought I said it to, but I don't think that matters. No. Does it? Can you tell? Oh, you oh, do have a 1080 It's doing option. 1080 on YouTube. Yeah. Maybe I could change that. I mean, that's... Right now, that's the only thing I, difference I can see between your are and my you, stream. Are you even allowed to change it after the stream has started? Good question. Yeah, you should be able to. Ingestion settings? Yeah, ingestion. There we go. Ingest that shit. No, oh. you, cannot, you cannot change it. Lame. It's all right. It's okay, though. Hey. All right, so guys, this is just going to be a little choppy. And, um, choppy chop. I'm sorry if you don't like that, but there's nothing we can do about it at this point. Learn to like the chap. All right, uh, also, the you know, the, the, the I mean, the content in jails is just going to be kind of lightweight. We really, last week, said to ourselves, you think we can stream from England? And we're like, probably, maybe. Yeah. And knows? then we managed to get it working to some extent, so that's kind of where we're at. Yeah. Alright, uh, real quick, uh, I'm going to plug our stores like we usually do, so guys, check out the stores. Here they are. Cal Store is awesome, slash network.com slash store. Yep. Shirts, all available there. Shirts. All very glorious. Buy a shirt. High quality. Buy them now. Everyone buy them. Uh, we'll Sexy. do some shoutouts to anyone who buys during the show. Uh, also, my store is paulsharbar.net or store.paulsharbar.net, and I have uh, this new updated thumbscrew men's shirt in tri-blend, the very soft tri-blend shirt. Zero insertion for force shirts as well as mugs and pint glasses and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, as far as drinking, since we do usually drink on the show, drinking the same thing. I finished my beer. You did. We're we drinking the same thing now. Yep. Since I'm switching to cider. The Aspol Suffolk. Here's, here's the question: On Kyle's half of the show, I lost Face Off, which was an epic um, rock paper scissors tournament. Mm -hmm. Does it? You said it. It carries over. But you said that I have to. I have to do that when I drink my beer. What if it's cider? I said your beverage. Oh, you said beverage? I did say your beverage at some point as well. All right. So it's all-encompassing. Nice try, though. Fine. No problem. I can handle that. So every time I drink my beverage, I'm supposed to say an English phrase. Yes. You can either make up one of your own down, but then you I have, have a to... feeling that it's... I can't. Oh. At all. Because once it starts accepting video stream. footage at 1080, whole... it can't just change the resolution midway through. That's... And they probably don't have anything that'll go back and, like... You know, reconfigure the old stuff. All right, has it? Hey, see, it, it caught up. We're we're fixed again. See? Okay. It was just it just needed to catch up to me closing Photoshop. <laughs> That's where. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Good. We're back to business. We're back. Everything's fine. This is normal. Nothing bad will happen from here on out. 
<laughs> All right, uh, let's go back to this story here real quick. So anyway, uh, again, that was the big, or the, the very fast SSD. They also have a very big SSD that they've announced. It's a 60 terabyte SAS SSD. Uh, specifications Jesus. are listed right here. I actually first found out about this on an Engadget story, um, which I will pull up here briefly because they do have a picture, at least of the demo that has that they have going on of it. This was the um, whole article. This was the whole article. I was poking fun of this article. Sorry, Brittany, Vincent, but this article was very lightweight. Um, I actually gathered most of my notes from this from the picture <laughs> and the specs that they had here. The article was listing it as like, look, this can hold 12,000 DVDs and 400 photo, million photos. And I was like, this is in Gadget. You're not Best Buy trying to sell to a grandmother. <laughs> you know, you need to tell them how many DVDs worth of information it can hold. Anyway. 30 that, family photos. I was just complaining about that. <laughs> uh, the drive itself, though. Getting back to the specs, 60 terabytes of capacity. So Seagate apparently is trying to put themselves out of the mass storage market when it comes to mechanical drives. That means that 17 of these drives could give you one petabyte of storage. Damn. A freaking petabyte in 17 3.5 inch drives. Uh, that's Jesus. that's pretty impressive if you ask me. Four terabytes per watt of power efficiency, and if you're a, a, a data center guy, that's a big that's a big a very important st uh, uh, stat for you. 3.5 inch form factor, so um, you know it'll slot into existing, uh, you know, array configurations that hold 3.5 inch drives. Ultra dense micron NAND flash, uh, and then what they're demonstrating right now is just a demo unit. They're saying that it will officially make its debut in 2017, although we don't really know when in 2017. That information remains to be seen. 60 terabyte drive though. That's a pretty. But what's that's, the what's the biggest drive that's available right now? Like four terabyte level? Samsung, the Samsung. If, if you look at go. SSDs, yeah. I was thinking like there's ten. There's a, a decent amount of eight and ten terabyte mechanical drives that have come out just recently. Yeah, but as far as um, SSDs, because you just did that last week. You talked about the uh, the Falcon mm. uh, PC that like came equipped like you could outfit it with like two new, of the new Titan X's. Oh yeah, yeah. And that came with like the largest consumer SSD, which was like the, the new four terabyte oh, Samsung. Oh, like the four terabyte Samsung. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the largest one. So, that's impressive. Yeah. Jumping up to sixty terabytes seems like a pretty big jump, but um, I guess only for business use for now. Yeah, I guess when it comes to like Seagate and um, Western Digital, they're both companies that have kind of you know very juggernauts when it comes to the mechanical uh, storage space, but um have been sort of making inroads here and there in the SSD space, but that's a pretty significant one when it yeah. comes to that. Um, all right. Next up, we have an article here, and I am essentially going to kind of read over this article with you guys. Um, I, I, I skimmed it earlier. Again, we're on the road and everything, so we haven't had quite as much of an opportunity to set up the show like we usually do, but this is an Anantech article comparing three Skylake Core i3 processors, uh, 51 watt TDP ones, the i3 6320, 6300, and 6100 tested. Um, they go through a huge amount of testing in this. Uh, they go over the test bed, performance, real world office, Linux, legacy, alien, uh, they do a bunch of gaming comparisons, Shadow of Mordor, and then of course they have the conclusion at the end. Real quick, I wanted to just look at the specs that they're comparing here. So um, all of these chips that they're comparing today are 51 watt TDP options. So that's pretty cool. Since they're i3s, they're all going to have two cores. And then some of them, uh, I think all the ones I tested today have hyper-threading. So, like, i3, two cores with a fake four-core, I mean, sort of an in-between four-core option with hyper-threading. i5s, you get four cores physically, but no hyper-threading, so you only get uh, four addressable threads. And the i7s is what you have to pay the big bucks for to get your four, four cores with hyper-threading for eight addressable threads by the operating system. Um, all the other specs are listed here. Pretty high range of base frequency, all the way up to 3.9 gigahertz, depending on which one you're using. But um, really what we're talking about is, is budget options here when it comes to Intel Skylake processors. Um, if you're not willing to spend what it takes to get a quad core on this platform, which costs at least $180 or $190, um, then you gotta look at the other options and those are dual core. But a lot of people look at these and say, well, is it sufficient being a dual core rather than a quad core? You know, is it gonna, we had a question just before the beginning of our show today talking about like, can I drop a 1070 in with like one of these i3 chips or something like that? And the answer, uh, at least when it comes to this review, is yes in some situations. So uh, again, this link is, uh, the, the story is linked in the description on my channel if you guys want to check out the whole thing. I highly recommend it because Anantech does really good work and they cover 
uh, pretty much all their bases when it comes to testing and, and that kind of thing. Do they pair but, these with just one GPU or like several different video cards? Uh, they, they test different video cards. So they test video cards that are a little bit more, make a little bit more sense as to what you might be comparing with an i3, for example. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, basically here's, here's what they're looking at. 6320, 6300, 6100, L3 cache of three or four megabytes. Base clock of 3.7 to 3.9. These don't have turbo boost. That's the other thing. They have Intel HD 350 graphics. Um, and let's let's look at some of these results down here. So uh, the Kraken uh, 1.1 lower time is better. You can see the i3s. This is more of an instructions per clock uh, test. And you can get massive price to performance. Um, when you look at single threaded performance in particular uh, with the i3s, they just, they just kind of dominate. So you can see even when you're comparing it to the more budget range options from AMD down here, like an 8370 or 6350, um, just they're they're kind of far and away better, and that's where you can see a lot of the changes when it comes to what Intel has done with uh, advancing their um, their GPU. I'm sorry, their CPUs and their architecture over the past few years, whereas Intel hasn't done quite as much. Also, sorry for the video freezing up. I will fix that right now. Hold on. Thank you for the donation, Flip and Fred. Well, guys, I finally began my Fantex build, and the best part is my EVGA 1080 for the win is on its flipping way. Nice. Nice, Fred. I hope that build goes smoothly for you. Me too. That's a really good card, though, the 1080 for the win. It's beautiful. You'll, you'll enjoy it. All right. Uh, okay, sorry I fixed the video. Let's jump back here and look at just a few more of these test results. 3D particle movement 2.0 uh, beta. So this is a multi-threaded test. So here we can see the FX 8370, um, which is a four core, eight thread chip uh, scoring much, much higher. So here you can see having those actual extra cores there when you're not uh, restricted to a more single threaded test, um, you're gonna get better performance. Uh, WinRAR here as well, um, since it's also multi-threaded, we can see some of the, uh, the chips that have more threads available to them performing better, but still the i3s kind of hanging right in there with with the pack, so they're not too far off. Uh, and then we get into the test, the other tests. Uh, here you're going to see integrated graphics, so that's another comparison that it, you might make when, you're, when it comes to i3s. Integrated graphics performance is not that great, so if you are looking to actually actually game or use like an iGPU for gaming. Uh, here's where you would probably not want to go with one of these Intel chips because AMD definitely still has the advantage there when it comes to the integrated graphics yeah. in their APUs. Um, and hopefully we'll see like some Zen-based stuff um, later this year, early next year that have, you know, still really good G integrated GPU performance, maybe with some like Polaris architecture, or Vega architecture, or something like that. Just and, curious, um, what, what video card did they use with it? This is integrated graphics. I, I mean, I know, but for the other tests where they just did gaming performance you're, with the you're, you're getting ahead of it. Oh, okay, okay. You're, 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 you're leading we're moving, we're moving down the list. I thought we were moving away from no, that. No, okay. no, no. Okay, good. so okay, good here's a couple actual game tests. So this is Grid Auto Sport with an R9 285, a 2 gig card. So this is something that's much more budget. It's still 240 bucks, but you can see comparing up this chip with something like a 285, maybe a GTX 1060, maybe even a, an R9 or an RX 480 or RX 470. Um, but here again, you can see uh, the chip's doing really well. So Grid Auto Sport doesn't take advantage of all the threads quite as well, so you get more uh, single thread performance. GTA 5 here paired with a 980 Strix 4 gig, so a much higher end card, but the uh, i3 is still holding up pretty well. Again, even on GTA 5, which is a pretty intensive game on it's, both the CPU and GPU. It's right up there with the FX8370, yeah. which is an 8 core CPU. I uh, 8370, I think, is a 4 core with hyper threading. Oh, okay. Or AMD's version of hyper threading. Right, right. Uh, i5 6600, nice. of course, is still getting you at the top. So you can see you are hurting the performance of the card a little bit by going with these chips, but you know it all—it's all how much drop off it is, and it's going to vary from game to game and how the game operates and all that kind of stuff. So, right. for any of you guys who asking that kind of question, oh no, video's locked again. This is happening a lot, a oh. lot more this this half of the show. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, the 6320. The i3 is only what 150 60 yeah. bucks on on Newegg. That's pretty good. And you know what? This kind of like uh, puts, you know, it kind of like um, I don't know. It kind of kills the myth that uh, like if you're gonna go for a budget gaming system, that you have to always go AMD. You know, because and AMD has like grown a really good reputation, a strong reputation for being the good budget option. But I feel like a lot of people just use that as the easy answer, like the end all answer. 
like oh if you if you can't spend more than 200 bucks on a processor for gaming just just go with amd mm -hmm. you'll get way more bang for the buck well that, that's actually not true based on these findings that's kind of interesting i mean that is their final words down here is that the skylight core three parts represent the best all-around cpus at their price choosing one for a system guarantees good return and performance while it might not always be the best for specific applications specifically ones that use four or more uh, processing threads and and use them heavily um, in the gaming test, the i3-6100 was only 2 to 4 frames per second down, um, compared to some much more expensive chips, so... Nice. So cool. Um, I would like to see, I, I would like to see Intel offering a f actual 4-core chip at sure. a little bit more reasonable price than the high, close to 200 range, you know? Um, yeah. I, I, I just, again, that's something where I think we need a little bit more competition from AMD for them to do that, but... Yep. Um, you know, every time I build, I, I do a system build or something, and I'm like, here's the Intel chip, and I know it's a little expensive, but here's what you gotta pay if you want to get four four cores, and yeah. I like having that. But you know, if you're not doing higher end gaming, then uh, the i3s seem very viable. Indeed. Well. Okay. Uh, cool, cool article. And thank you to uh, who did this article on Anantech? Ian. Thank you, Ian Cutrus, for that article. Very thorough, very good. Um, all right, I have one more story here to talk about. All right. Um, this one is free games. Who wants to play some free games? Everybody go play free games. Uh, they're old games. Do you still want to play them? Uh, the Internet Archive has added 10,000 playable Amiga games. Wow. Yeah. Um, so they have, they have a, a software libra library for the Commodore Amiga. It's a 16-bit home computer that launched back in the 80s. I believe it launched in the 80s. Um... Total collection has 10,365 games, applications, and demos. And the cool thing is that the games are playable right there in the browser. Cool. So if you go to the link in the story, and I'm not going to pull it up right now because I'm already maxing out my CPU usage on this on this laptop. Don't click um, anything. But yeah. Totally. To the <laughs> you can play all these old, old school games like Bubble Bobble, uh, Lemmings. Lemmings Holiday Lemmings, 1993. Lemmings 2. Apparently there was a huge amount of sequels. sequels. Uh, here's a look at the Amiga, if you guys aren't familiar with what it actually looks like. So it's the upgraded Com Commodore 64. I had a Commodore 64 back in the day. Um, but I was also trying to explain to Kyle the game Lemmings. Um, because it was just, it was a very fun game back in the day. You're, you're, are you familiar with this game at all? No. Nope. Lemmings? So like, the basic premise is, there's an entrance and an exit to every level. It's a 2D type game. Mm-hmm. And all the lemmings just start coming out. And they're okay. like lemmings, right? They just keep walking whatever direction they're going. Yeah. But you have certain lemmings that you can assign different different like roles. Like you can make an exploding lemming or you can give a lemming an umbrella. Or, or certain lemmings that like this little guy here is building a, a little bridge. Mm -hmm. Or like steps or something like that. And, you know, depending on the level. So it's like a puzzle game. You have okay. different numbers of lemmings you can you can assign to do different things and all that, all that kind of fun stuff. Um it was a really fun game, old school, um, kind of strategy game, uh, but I was telling Kyle, Lemmings is actually the game that Worms was created as a response to, because Lemmings, you know, pretty simple 2D platformer type game, puzzle solving, all that kind of thing, you're supposed to use these Worms ability to save all the Worms lives, you know, and help them move on to whatever's next or whatever. Worms is like, no, it's just Worms, they'll have guns and they'll try to kill each other. <laughs> guns and explosives and that kind of thing um pretty pretty fun stuff nice anyway so if you guys want to play some old school games check it out uh, again it's at the internet archive and these are all uh, playable within the browser so i feel like we should keep this in mind uh for future shows since oh um, yeah we've already, done, we've already done we've already done face off this round i need to think of something english to say oh wait uh bubble and squeak that was that was good that works Okay. There's some good ones on here. That was a right bodge job. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Oh, Blumenek. I need to say it with more of a, an accent. I was gobsmacked. I was gobsmacked. Gobsmacked is a great one. She was talking 19 to the dozen. That is... Alright. It's gone she, all pear-shaped. I like gone pear-shaped. She's That's a, a good picnic one. short of a sandwich. <laughs> sandwich short of a picnic? There's a picnic short of a sandwich. Yeah, a picnic short of a sandwich. Oh, okay. She's a slice short of a loaf. That makes sense. 
Yep. All right. Uh, guys, that is all for the uh, actual plans portion of my uh, part of the show. Yeah. Also, I should double check and make sure that we're not we are frozen again. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> wow. You can't this see is, our beautiful this faces This is probably going to be one of the most popular episodes of Awesome Hardware we've ever right. done. This is the one episode that, like, you know, talent scouts are going to be, like, what, like looking at our stuff. And they're going to go to this show. Like, wow, I don't even know how these guys are still around. Yeah, I hope not. Hold on, I just hit refresh and it didn't fix it. Oh, no. <gasps> are we just that strapped for CPU bandwidth? We're just bandwidth? screwed now? Completely screwed. We just have no more CPUs. What do you have in here? You have a Core i7. Yeah, it's an i7. It's a, oh. it's a Haswell mobile chip. Yeah, but still. There it is. All right. That's, that's way better. It's just because we're streaming right. everything. Guys, we're going to take a few questions here to round out the show and give Gosh. you guys a little bit more content, and then we will be on our merry way. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. Let's play a game. Every time the screen freezes, we have to do a shot. We don't have anything to do shots of. No, we don't. That's probably our biggest... I mean, yeah. we do, but we'd probably be broke by the end of it. Yeah, the, anything we would do shots of here would be would cost us like 50 euro or something I have like a lot that. of liquor in my room, you which do? I didn't see in here. Oh. I have oh. like like things of scotch and gin and rum and vodka. I have like a whole bar. How come they give you the room Because with... they know that I drink a lot. Okay, well that's fair. <laughs> it's, it's profiling. They totally profiled me as soon as we came in here. I wanted to check Johnson's, They're but... Genius. Um... Oh yeah, I've got some Johnson's, I think. Uh, we've got one Johnson from our friend whose name is William. William. William Johnson. William. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Go home, William. If you the back of my hand. Oh, William. Oh, William. Oh, no, wrong button. Wrong button. No, I didn't want to do Oh, that. Sam. Uh, and then we've got uh, Nicholas. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Johnson, to your brother for picking up a CPU cooler shirt. What did William get? William got a BIOS flasher shirt. Oh, nice. Thank you, sir. Um, I am trying to do Johnson's, but right now it does not want me to... Oh, here. Give, S give spend him, a penny. Give me my Gmails. He's as mad as a box of frogs. He's as mad as a box of frogs. He's crackers! <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, alright. Yay. Alright, I have some I have some Johnson's. <laughs> well, that's thrown a spanner in the works. <laughs> a spanner? <laughs> I like a wrench. That's like the... Like the curveball. That a... means he's throwing a curveball. Or a curveball has been thrown. Yeah. Yeah, a wrench in the works, yeah. It's like an English, or the American sort of version of that. Uh, hey, Angelo, what? I'm out on the pool tonight. I'm out, oh. Ooh. That sounds body. Ooh. Uh, Angelo, like thank you so much for your order, sir. Oh, going all the way to Manila. Metro Manila. What? And the PI. Shout outs to the PI. Uh, he picked up a thumbscrew men's tri-blend shirt, so thank you very much, Angelo. And the PI. Much obliged. Yes. Mabuhai? I don't, I don't know the right words to say. Mabuhai? <laughs> I, should, Mabuhai. I should speak more Tagalog. You should. I'm better at Visayan. Uh, vis, vis, no, Visayan. Uh, that's that's not even right. Uh, also, Nicholas. Did you have a Nicholas? I did. Uh, Nicholas gets double a double Johnson. Johnson. Also got the Zero Insertion 4 shirt. In gray. Double classic. Johnson. The classic Zero Insertion 4 shirt. Alright. Um, let's see. Are there any more questions here? Uh, are we going to be the new hosts for Top Gear? No. Yes. No. <laughs> totally. Wait, wait somebody who's... Uh, we triggered a British a British person. I'm sorry, Darian. My apologies. It's Brass Monkeys out! What? It's Brass Monkeys... It's Parky out! She's such a cutting twitcher. Stop being such a noise ointment. Does it, does it count as an English term if I quote... Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, <laughs> even though it was... Uh, Absolutely. <clears throat> it especially counts. Even though it was Kevin Costner and he didn't use an English accent. <laughs> That's true. Because, unlike other Robin Hoods, I speak with an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just fluff? He's the dog... He's the dog's danglies. <laughs> what? It's the Mutt's Nuts. The Mutt's Nuts? That's really... Top notch. That means good? I guess so. Oh, he's a bobby. It'd be like saying cock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like as a good thing. I'll give you a tinkle. Check out my new system I just built. It's all water cooled. Ah, oh, cock. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Ah, T riggered. T riggered. That's, that's what happens in England. All right, dog's balls. These 
Things are going south very quickly. Yes, they are. Sure. Why can't dinosaurs clap? That is a good question. Um, well, T-Rexes can't because they they have the little T-Rex arms. Because they're hard to impress. Maybe this is a joke and there's going to be a... Th- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's actually a Wait, punchline. Is there is there a punchline to this joke, or is that a real question? Somebody has been waiting to ask us this question <laughs> for a very long time. You've cocked it all up. Uh, all right, send. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. Totally cack handed. All right, guys. Uh, I think we should wrap this one up since it is after two a.m. here, and we should probably before the stream crashes and we don't get to say a proper goodbye. Yeah, that too. Um, thanks to all you guys for sticking with us. I know it's been choppy and a little weird and random and all that good stuff, and not quite the normal show. But again, we're in England and we're on the road, so yep. uh, we're glad that we just were able to stream anything for you guys. Indeed. Yeah, it's been fun. Thank you guys for uh, coming along for the ride, even if it wasn't the smoothest stream. You guys are always super cool for supporting us and stuff and, and watching our shit. So. Yep. Uh, have a good night or rest of your day, and uh, we will catch you soon. Indeed. Bye. Cheers. Cod- Codswallop. Cheers. <laughs>